What's up guys, Chooch back with another one. Today we're looking at the In Motion V12 and this is gonna be a super edit. This took me a long time to put together and I've been riding this thing for a few months now and I've really put it through its paces and it looks a lot different from whenever I first got it. I've done a few modifications to it and I can pretty much tell you everything you need to know about the In Motion V12 and if you aren't, um, you know, keen to electric unicycles and haven't really heard about these, I'll go ahead and tell you about them like kind of from a beginner standpoint. Uh, basically these came around like 2015 and they were really really a unique thing that was um, not something that a lot of people looked at as being a viable form of transportation. The first one I ever got was 2015 and it was because I got hit by a car on my skateboard and I was just looking for something that could get me back and forth between campus that had brakes on it and I just I, I didn't want to have to skateboard in ice and uh, wet weather and rain and all that stuff and going downhill uh, it just wears your shoe out as you know skateboarding all the time and I just wanted a, literally like an electric scooter with brakes on it so I looked around a little bit and I came across this on Amazon and they did they had these on Amazon back back in the day and they were like they were terrible. It was called the Airwheel X3. And it was only about, I, I think I paid about 280 bucks for mine on Amazon. But it was it would go about 7 miles an hour. And it would go maybe, um, I think maybe like 5 miles on a charge. And I loved it. I got a hold of that little thing and I loved it. I rode it everywhere. I kept the charger with me. And I just, something about it, man. I just, I really liked the way it rode and and I just kept getting them from there, better ones and better ones. And now we're at a point, guys, where it's really taken off. Compared to and where it was in 2015, I never thought that the amount of uh, community and the amount of growth and the amount of just riders that we have from coast to coast in America as well as overseas for just electric unicycles. And the guys that get them and the guys that start riding electric unicycles, they get hooked on them. Even people that come from one wheels and electric scooters or electric bikes, they get electric unicycles and it's just, you get hooked on it. And it's a lot of different things about it as to why I like it over, say, electric, electric um, one wheels and skateboards and, bi and electric bikes and all that stuff. It's the convenience factor of it. It's the way it rides. It's being able to take it inside of places instead of leaving it outside and getting it stolen it's being able to throw it in the back of your car not having to worry about you know, a bike rack all kinds of stuff there's a lot of reasons why these things really really stick with the people that get them learn how to ride them and they just they'll end up with five of them they'll end up with ten of them down the road they'll end up with it, this becomes a full-blown addiction for most people and one thing that to note about it is now you can really get a, a good unicycle that goes extremely fast, has great range, and has every feature on it for a, a solid price compared to what we were paying for just a terrible unicycle, electric unicycle back in 2015 and early 2016 and whatnot. They've just gotten, the technology's gotten way better. The batteries have gotten extremely better. The safety of the ride has gotten phenomenal with way more support on it with being able to climb mountains, being able to take massive jumps on these things and just have a lot of braking power there, even for a heavy rider without the motherboards failing or anything like that, which is quite impressive. For somebody looking this, uh, looking at this on the outside, you may think, you know, that's that pendulum effect there. Like, how is that, what, what are the electronics in this thing doing this holding up a, a rider with all that uh, leverage on this little thing like it seems like it should just overpower it and something should fail in it is what it looks like but I've been riding these a long time guys and now they're to a point where they really don't and it's it really is impressive even to me now every day I get on it and that's why I, I still love it I love the way you can just float on this thing with no handlebars I explained it to somebody recently of why I like electric unicycles more than dirt bikes more than skateboarding more than anything like that and it's because 
it's the only thing that's 100% natural. Like the two things I love is this and snowboarding. And it's just because you can carve and it's so natural feeling. It's like skiing too. Like, like it'd be just like skiing. But it's the one thing, like even steering a motorcycle. I love motorcycles, but the still the thing is, is like you still, it doesn't feel as natural as this whenever you're cornering, whenever you're riding trails. Just having your hands free and just leaning with your body in the corners, being able to accelerate by leaning forward. It is. It really is awesome. Once you get the hang of it, and once you get it dialed in, there's nothing that compares to it. Even cruising around town for your first few months, going slow, keeping it under 20 miles an hour, you're, you're going to have a total blast on it. You're not going to be able to get off of it. They just keep advancing. Now we're going to have really good unicycles with the Kingsong S20 coming out soon that have suspension on them, like really good suspension, and they go really fast. So possibilities are endless on these guys and just like we saw with skateboarding and just like we saw with bmx it's just going to progress and with those you see what people are doing now in the x games and whatnot on skateboards what people are doing on bicycles man this thing has everything those have and more this has a motor you got a good tire on this thing man you can i can't imagine the tricks in a few years people are going to be throwing on these things especially when we get good suspension on it so there's just a lot of growth, a lot of potential in this hobby. Um, and it's a total blast and it's really, really affordable. Machines have gotten phenomenally durable compared to what they used to be. And I just, I, I really, really think that if you haven't gotten one of these things, you should check it out. And I know it may look a little bit strange from the outside. And I, I can tell you what guys, even as someone that rides motorcycles, looking at this from the outside, it was just a random act for me to just kind of pull the trigger the day I, I saw this online to get it. And then I wasn't really thinking much of it. I got it and I've been hooked on it ever since. So just give it a chance. I know it looks a little bit odd to people that may not have seen these before, but give it a chance, man. It is so much fun and that's why I really like it. Yeah, it looks a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, it's called an electric unicycle. I wish we had a damn better name for it than that but it is one of the most fun things that I've ever rode or done in my life. And I think if you haven't checked one out before and you're on the fence about it, go with, maybe check out like the InMotion V12 that I'm riding right here. This one is, it, it is the best all arounder wheel. And this kind of shows you what you can do with it. And a video like this, after I've been riding it a while, I can show you some different terrains that you can ride on it. You can ride it on the road, you can ride it on trails, gravel, everything like that. So pretty much anywhere that you live at, in the United States, overseas, anywhere like that, you can find somewhere to ride one of these things, which is the coolest thing. And you can find practical uses for it. So that's one thing I really, really love about these. And whether it be grocery shopping, whether it be having it in your truck or whatever, think about this, one, a practical use scenario where I used it recently is I had to go get my, my truck service. So I just took had this and the, sitting behind the back seat or took my truck to get service and then I was able to pull this out of the back seat and go ride home go do errands whatever I needed to and then ride back to the dealership later didn't have to call an uber didn't have to bother a family member didn't have to bother a friend so that's one really cool practical use scenario right there and there, the list goes on of how you can use these things you can use these things for yard work you can use them for uh, weed eating you can use it for uh, taking the trash out whatever you want to do with it there's so many different little things you can use this thing for and they are powerful and and you got good speakers on this one let's go over the stats on the InMotion V12 so you can kind of get a rundown of, of, of what this thing will do you're probably wondering well how, how fast can this little thing go it'll go it'll go about 41 to 42 miles an hour after that like 90 percent um, battery range if it's over 90 percent charge guys this little thing blasts off and you will hit that 43 miles an hour but as soon as you drop below about 90 percent battery it still flies but you can get about 41 42 miles an hour out of it the only time you're going to get that 43 miles an hour is on a full charge and if you just take it straight out and go gun it but it will it'll keep over that 40 miles an hour all the way up until about 30 percent charge left on it and so that's about give or take about 45 miles of being able to just send it on this thing 
as fast as you want over 40 miles an hour. And so that's um, impressive for such a small piece of equipment, such a little thing you can keep under your desk. You don't have to worry about locking up when you get to your destination. And you can just take it in with you. That's impressive. It really is impressive. That's one thing you got to think about. It's got a 2500 watt motor in it, which is the largest motor for a electric unicycle of this size. I've talked about that and it just accelerates really fast and it has a great top speed for such a small wheel. It really does. It has a, a phenomenal top speed and being a smaller diameter wheel with that high a speed, it makes it so much fun to ride, guys. It's like, like with anything else, you know, it, it makes it a lot more technical and it just makes it seem like you're going faster whenever it's a smaller diameter wheel like this. So this thing really feels like you're cooking and I love that about it. It has 1750 watt hours of battery on it and it's 100 volts. And so what does that mean? So 1750 watt hours of battery is, that's about mid range for these unicycles. For like top, top range unicycle, like veteran Sherman, that one has about 3200 watt hours in it. And you can get almost about 90 miles of range out of that machine. So with this one, expect about about 45 to 50 miles of just hardcore riding. If you're a casual rider and you just keep it, you know, in that 25 mile per hour range and you're not accelerating hard, then you can really get a lot more range out of these things, guys. 60, 70 miles out of it. And it just depends about how you're riding it. And you're not gonna, of course, be darting everywhere on it all the time i really like to and a lot of that's just for the video but for the most part you can really calm down on this thing if you're just cruising you know 25 30 it is so impressive how far you can go on these and the built-in speakers that you may hear that sound wave thing can be cut off i love it because it's a little bit ridiculous i like being a little bit ridiculous whenever i'm riding these things and the sound wave actually goes with the acceleration of the wheel. So when you tilt forward, it revs up, just like if you were to do it on a motorcycle. And then whenever you stop, it just kind of chills out. So if you're coasting, you don't hear it revving. And as soon as you lean into it and the engine's working, that's when you hear the Bluetooth speaker revving. That's not the actual engine making any noise on this thing. If you wanted to, you can make it 100% silent. The, the, the sound's coming out of the Bluetooth speakers on the machine. And so you can connect it to your phone, and play any music you want while you're riding, which I really like to do. Now don't do this if you're in a downtown setting like in New York or something like that, and you're pulling up where people may be talking on the phone or whatnot, and you got loud music playing. But just for like bike path scenarios, go ahead and play your music through the Bluetooth speakers so it will alert those dog walkers or anybody that's ahead of you that you're coming and that's one great feature on here you can enjoy your music and then also it's kind of a thing that um, lets other people around you kind of know where you're at because they may make an unpredictable movement but having a sound behind behind them makes them know that somebody's coming it's kind of like having like a bike bell but it's just kind of constant so you can really get a peripheral idea of where the person is riding that's one thing i love about it and uh, definitely don't play it whenever it's going to be in a disres disrespectful setting but definitely use it to your advantage because it's letting someone use an entire uh, one of their five senses to know where you're at you know like you, their hearing is very keen of knowing where something is and so if you have the speakers playing it will, it will alert somebody way ahead before you get there and they'll know exactly where you're at. Like, And they'll know not to move in front of you and they can get their dog or whatever it may be. And that's just a good thing. It really is a good thing to have and not to overlook. And if you want to just, with the sound wave too, so if you have the sound wave and the speakers on, what will happen is when you're accelerating, you'll hear the sound wave. And then when you're just coasting, you'll hear your music playing. And I really don't like that, it's kind of annoying, so you can just turn off the sound wave altogether when you have your music playing. So, very unique. They went they went overboard on this thing. They really, the, the LCD screen is just, I can't believe how, like, it really is responsive if your fingers aren't, um, like, just 
you know if you have really dry like cold fingers they won't work but if you got like uh your fingers are just normally like moist then they'll work fine on that lcd screen just like perfect just like your phone or anything like that my fingers are always dry as hell though and cold so i'm like trying to use that screen and it's like okay come on but if i'm inside man that thing works perfectly fine like and my fingers are just in a normal condition and good to go man good to go but yeah i love it it's um not having to use the app and i one thing i hated was having to connect the app uh to the phone and because all these are bluetooth wheels and so you can change things like the lighting pattern you can uh go in there and change the tilt angle the calibration settings all that type of stuff with the app on your phone and with this you don't even need to connect the app on your phone so if you're in a situation where you don't have a phone or it, where uh, anything under the sun where, or either you just are like me and don't want to download a degum app whenever you get something and have to fool with that you can just do everything you need to right on the screen which I love I really do I appreciate the fact that they did that and I think all wheels going forward should have some type of simple interface where you can do everything you need to do without having any app. Because that's one thing I can't stand. I about had a hissy fit the other day. I bought one of those Insta360 cameras. I got in the middle of a, a place with no cell phone service to go film with it. And then I had to download the freaking app to be able to use the camera. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me? I just bought the camera. I got a clean SD card, but I got to download the app in order to use the product. I mean, that, it it really does piss you off. So keep going forward with this, like companies where you can do either have buttons on it, an LCD display or something. But if you're going to do an LCD display, make sure that the reason you can't see it right here is because I've made a covering for it. I actually spent a lot of time on it, made a nice covering um, like a, a bumper guard around that LCD display up there because just because of how I ride I'm gonna crash it like I, I don't baby my equipment I'm gonna crash it eventually so that's why I did that and I think that um, you should definitely make something like that if you do get the InMotion V12 and you're gonna ride it um, in an aggressive way off-road and hit some jumps and stuff like that because you wouldn't want this to go down in your LCD screen hit a rock or hit something in a weird way and then get damaged whenever it would be easy to just to make something to protect it. But all in all, the InMotion V12 has really been a standout machine. It honestly has. And the few things that I mentioned and some of the other reviews, if you can go back and watch those, it'll pretty much tell you everything you need to know about the machine. Um, they are selling like hotcakes and for a good reason. I think it, as it, it's at a great price. You get a very fast machine, great range, incredible form factor with everything you could want on it. It'll support up to a 265 pound person and it's a 100 volt machine with great range, 2500 watt motor, same motor as the veteran Sherman, which is just a total powerhouse. I'm telling you, this thing is ridiculous how much power is in such a small machine you would never understand it people people that are old heads that don't really understand the power of electric motors and whatnot um, would just be amazed it, standing on one of these and being able to get the full um, full idea of the power of the braking of what it can do it would really amaze some some people that have been just around traditional motors for their whole life because it really amazes me even still to now but you can get about 43 miles per hour on this thing and yes that's for about the 100 to 90 percent range but after that guys it still goes over 40 until about 30 percent battery left on it so it does keep ripping some other wheels in the 16 inch category like the king song 16x for example once you got over or under 50% battery on that thing, it started to throttle you a lot. It's another thing not a lot of people have talked about. The, the throttling on that 16X was terrible, man. That really, really was not a good thing. And with this wheel being able to just keep going that high speed all the way up until uh, your battery is like 20 to 30%, that's awesome, guys. It really does not throttle you until very, very low battery. So very cool but for real these things are selling like hotcakes guys and they've already sold out completely of 
the ones that were shipped over here. So if you want a, if you want an InMotion V12, put in your pre-order below, and the next shipment is estimated in late January, guys. So just go ahead and put in your pre-order, and it'll hold your place for one because I'm sure the every single position for one is going to end up selling out quick from E-Wheels. So um, place your pre-orders, links below. You can pre-order the other wheels too, like the S20, the Commander, Hero, all that as well, or either get some holiday shopping done. Get some of those in stock wheels. They'll be shipped out to you uh, before Christmas time. So definitely shoot for things like, if you're looking for a budget wheel, guys, right now, that's an impressive budget wheel that's still in stock on the website, dude, the 18, the Kingsong 18XL is a great option if you're trying to get a gift for anybody for the holidays. It's an impressive wheel with an incre the same amount of battery life as this wheel, actually, as the V12, and it's only 2,000 bucks, guys and it's an 18 inch wheel so you can do some heavy off-roading on it but i would look at that one in specific you can click the link below and check the 18xl out because i think that is the the number one in stock wheel right now if you're trying to get some holiday shopping done and get somebody a unicycle that you know uh, just most affordable probably best unicycle that's available now anyways guys it's been chooch if you enjoyed the video throw it a thumbs up and i will see you dudes in the next one